Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Closet. First of all guys, I would like to apologize to all you guys for not uploading a video for about one and a half months now. As you guys know from my last video, I was traveling to London. Um, I did actually um, travel to London uh, in March. So um, due to the entire COVID-19 situation in the world, I couldn't get back to Sri Lanka in time. So I was basically stuck in London. Uh, London was also under lockdown, so um, I actually couldn't do much in London. So guys, it was a crazy experience. Um, me and my family, we all went together um, on a holiday to London. So guys, I visited uh, London in March, to be exact, on the 8th of March. So um, it was quite smooth at that time. There were no COVID patients in Sri Lanka and there were only about three patients in the United Kingdom. So it was uh, quite all right when I uh, reached London. But within one week, it got really crazy. And uh, my return uh, flight was on the 19th of March. But unfortunately, the Sri Lankan airport was shut down uh, due to COVID-19. Uh, they shut the airport fully on the 18th of March. So my scheduled return was on the 19th. So I couldn't catch the uh, 18th flight. So I was basically stranded with my family in London. And guys, because London was also locked down, the hotel we were in was also shutting down. So they basically informed us that they are going to shut down the hotel and for us to find a different place to stay. Uh, we were actually very lucky because one of my friends were uh, living in London and she invited us to stay with her. So guys, from the 8th March until 27th March, we were at the hotel. So after the hotel was shut down, we basically moved in with my friend at her house. Uh, so we were there for about a month. Finally guys, Sri Lankan Airlines um, sent a special flight on the 5th of May to uh, bring down all the uh, Sri Lankan citizens who are stranded in uh, London. So we got on that flight and came back to Sri Lanka. Right now, I'm in the quarantine, um, so um, they actually gave us the option to um, either select a free quarantine uh, center which um, the government provided or to uh, pay a hotel and stay um, as quarantine. So we opted for the second uh, option which um, we actually paid for the hotel and now I'm in the hotel. So I thought I will use this time to do a few videos for you guys. We are actually staying at the Citrus Vaskadua. Uh, this was one of the centers given to the government as a quarantine center. Uh, basically guys, uh, they give us all three meals, the breakfast, lunch and the dinner. So they also have a little uh, snack menu where we can order some snacks um, in case if we need something uh, other than what we are provided. Um, they are quite flexible and um, it's a really nice hotel to stay in. However guys, you cannot even open the door and put your hand out. You will be uh, charged or you will be asked to stay inside. So guys, as I mentioned, we uh, got in that special flight and uh, arrived in Sri Lanka safely. So um, once you arrive in Sri Lanka in, in the airport, there are some uh, procedures that they do uh, to safeguard the country. I think it's quite organized and I think um, hats off to all the military people who are doing a great job. They actually took care of us quite well in the airport as well as the quarantine centers. So guys, if I give you a small uh, description about how it works from the airport until the quarantine center. It's quite interesting. Uh, everything is handled by the uh, forces in Sri Lanka. Hats off to everyone who's working um, in forces right now, um, especially Air Force and the Army. They're doing a great job from the airport until the quarantine centers. Um, I should give a special thanks to all forces in Sri Lanka. So basically guys, once you land, once you arrive, uh, once your flight is landed and once you arrive Sri Lanka, what basically happens is you just walk up to the luggage area of the um, airport, which is the back of the airport, not the actual uh, inside where you arrive usually. So what they do is they line you up, then you're taken into a area where you are being sprayed and disinfected. Your hand luggage is also being sprayed. So, um, Firstly, actually you're uh, directed to a C 
sink where you wash your hands and you remove all your mask and gloves which you were wearing inside the plane then they spray you and they provide you with a new mask and a new pair of uh, gloves which is amazing i think and then you have to go and identify your hand luggage which is already being sprayed by the uh, forces and then you're checked for your temperature they will check whether you have a high temperature or whether you have fever basically so after you're being checked for your temperature you're uh, directed to another queue where your body is uh, scanned uh, for viruses and then you hand over your passport to a uh, immigration officer you don't get your passport back until you're uh, cleared in the health section so basically there are three forms which you uh, fill out inside the flight you're given three forms basically so the first form is your immigration form that's the form you give after your temperature and body virus is checked and then um, you have to hand over one uh, declaration form about your health uh, to an army officer then you are directed to identify your main luggage once you identify your main luggage which is also being sprayed and disinfected you have to put all this in a uh, trolley and then you have to park it uh, in a safe place and you are supposed to be seated in an area according to a number which is given to you so basically in this seating area you are given another form to be filled with uh, your information and you give that form with another health declaration form to a, uh, another um, a counter where the army officers are in and there they will check whether you're uh, clear to enter the country if you're clear to enter the country you have to just sit and wait until they notify you uh, to um, go to a bus to be sent to a quarantine center guys i should mention one thing here uh, it was very well organized at the airport i was really impressed about how uh, everything was organized in sri lanka and uh, finally we were directed uh, to a bus where you are taken uh, to the quarantine centers according to the quarantine center which you have picked so we obviously came into citrus vaskadua and again there they will spray you and disinfect you before you come inside and uh, later you are checked into the hotel and you are given a room so basically i am sharing my room with my parents so basically guys this is what happens uh, at the moment uh, in sri lanka this was my experience in london during this covid-19 epidemic during my stay in london the first week was quite smooth uh, so during the first week i did some shopping and did visit some restaurants so i thought i will start with the london vlog today so guys basically my channel is about luxury fashion beauty and travel so if you like this type of videos don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already Also hit the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. So guys, we started our journey from Bandar Naik International Airport. As you can see, this is the duty free area. So if you walk further up, you will find the uh, Serendip Lounge. This is the lounge you will get if you're flying Sri Lankan Airlines business class. So as we entered, you can see it was pretty empty. Uh, but however in about 15 minutes the lounge got pretty crowded as you can see this is the dining area with a little bar on the side so of course guys i started off uh, with a nice um, glass of champagne at the lounge they have a variety of uh, food items Uh, mainly they cater to the Sri Lankan taste however they also have some salads and some sandwiches traveling sri lankan business class you get a free 15 minute foot massage at the lounge this is my favorite part actually so me and my dad took the opportunity and got our massage so we landed in london around 8 pm uk time so we couldn't do much that night we went straight to bed 
Next day we did some shopping and went to have some lunch at the Global Buffet. We were shopping at Designer Outlet in Wembley, so Global Buffet was also situated in Wembley. Guys, this was a great place to have lunch. As you can see, they have a corner for every cuisine. They had Chinese, Japanese, Indian, Italian and so on. At night for dinner, they also have action stations. So if you are around uh, this area, this is a must try uh, restaurant. Uh, the best part is guys, it's only 11 pounds per person. And if you need uh, beverages, alcoholic beverages, you definitely will have to pay an extra amount. On the second day of our trip, we did a little shopping down Oxford Street. Of course guys, I did visit H&M, Zara, River Island and a few other shops as well. So I will show you guys everything I got in another video. So while we were in central London, we wanted to try some afternoon tea at Sketch London. This is the entrance of Sketch London and guys, they have different rooms for dining. Basically, if you are having afternoon tea, you will be directed to this pink room and guys, this is one of the most Instagrammed places. This is their menu guys, they have a variety of tea from all around the world. Uh, as Sri Lanka is very famous for tea, they have a variety of Sri Lankan tea as well. So I was kind of proud to see Sri Lankan tea on the menu. With our first pot of tea, we were served some caviar which was amazing. served with some savory items as well as some cake later we had some scones with another pot of tea at the end they also gave us some cheesecake however we were too full at that point so we asked them to pack our cheesecake to go if you're at sketch you have to do a visit to their famous toilets I know it might sound a little weird, but guys, it's a beautiful area. As you can see, the toilets are in the shape of an eggshell. So guys, on the third day, we visited Bista Village. This was a train ride towards Oxford. I think if you are a brand lover, you have to do a visit to Bista Village. Here you get some uh, branded items at a discounted rate. So my first stop at Vista Village was uh, Coach. Guys, I was looking for a laptop bag. As you can see, these bags are all discounted. This bag was £325 before and now it's down to £219. stop was Dolce & Gabbana. I fell in love with this floral skirt and it was £675 before and now it's down to £405. So guys, I tried a few things at Dolce & Gabbana. My next stop was my favorite store at Bista Village and it's none other than the Gucci store. This store always has a line outside so basically you have to stay in the queue to get in.
guys i was trying these two pairs of shoes i just couldn't decide on which one any guesses on what i bought guys i will show you what i got in my next video for sure guys i tried a few ready to wear items at goji and the sales associate at goji was such a nice girl and she was so helpful I also tried a few pairs of shoes at YSL, Valentino and Mono Leblanc. After a full day of shopping, we had an early dinner before we left Bista Village. We had our dinner at the farm shop restaurant. you have to check out farm shop restaurant finally guys we went to Louis Vuitton store in Bond Street I was trying out a few things there and finally bought something I always wanted
vlog hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video do give this video a thumbs up and do leave a comment down below if you haven't subscribed do subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever i upload a video hope to see you guys soon in my next video until then stay safe